But now let's buy all those tonics we wanted. So this would be 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 50. Great. 18. 51! Oh, I was off by one. I'm sorry, everybody. Hello and welcome back to a completely normal episode of Mr. Red Plays Corona Trigger. Today we're gonna, uh-oh, get our butts handed to us. Hey, never mind. We made it through. Awesome. Now, um, I want to get back to that time zone. By the way, he said he made a comment about how you can switch teammates at any time by pressing Y. Whoa, he was right. So wait then, what's the problem? What is the issue? Why would this not just be you can switch at any time ever? Can you really just switch at any time? That seems ridiculous. There's the gate. Wait, do I have to fall into it? Do I have to like... Jump? Yes. Got it! Hey, that's cool! This game has a lot of really neat ideas to it that I, I think is really neat. Ooh, I had a burp as I was falling there. All right, great. Hey, uh, uh, robot friend, how you doing? How goes it? May I be of assistance? What if I say yes? I'm ready, Chrono. Does that mean I have to switch out? No. Well, then you can't be of assistance. You can't be. Stay here. All right, we're going back to uh, Medina Village, 1000 AD. There's that song again. Oh, never mind. It's done. <laughs> well, that was a bad, bad example. Uh, okay, so we're back at our own time. Uh, in a kitchen, in just a home, with some goblins, some imps. Hey, did you people just come out of the closet? Get out of here. No. Wasn't me. How do you, who do you think you are? Coming and going out of our closet at all hours? Scram. Okay, sorry. Wait a sec. Uh, no. Medina Village was founded by the ancestors of the mystics who lost a war to human beings. What? Was f Wait, Medina Village was founded by the ancestors of the mystics who lost a war to human beings. Most mystics hold a grudge against humans. Be careful. There's an odd man who lives near the cave in the mountains to the west. You might enjoy a chat with him. Thanks. Why are we being so nice? Why are you being so nice? Mystics aren't supposed to get along with humans. Humans fought the mystics over 400 years ago. My motto is forgive and forget. I don't know who's talking right now. I'm assuming one of these imps. Uh, but not many seem to agree with me. Okay, well, thanks for being nice. Wait, so I have to go... Medina Square, here we are. We're back at Medina Square. What odd man do I have to go talk to? I don't understand. Chrono, what's that weird chanting? Uh-oh. I feel like things have changed. Boy, I am meddling with time way too much in this game. Things are just completely screwed. Hut! Sir Magus! Oh no! Is that Magus? Looks like him. I would it looks like what I would imagine Magus to look like. Get out of the way, please. I want to look at the statue. Here we go. I can't click on it. 400 years have passed since Magus commanded the mystics and waged war against the humans. When Lavos is awakened, all humans are doomed, Maha! Don't do that! This is Medina Square. Is this not where I met Marl for the first time? Is that not correct? Seems like it would be. Here's the market. Is it all just... It's just Imp City in here. Nothing here to sell to humans. Get out of here. Plead. You know it. You, you know it. All humans. What? You know dash it dash all humans. Teach him a lesson, boss. Oh god! I guess I gotta fight now. Hench or Omnicrone. Let's wait and do a tech. He missed. Let's do a fire whirl. No, I can't! Alright, now I can. Fire whirl on this guy. And then you shoot that guy, the hench. Well, this is weird. I seem to be in a world that's entirely dominated by the bad guys that I was fighting before. Which I missed again. I gotta say, it's probably my fault. All this meddling in time really cannot be good for the space-time continuum. This seems to be a good example of that. Um, I, I, I think I've screwed things up. Mortal blow! Oh, God. Boom, got him. 
Hey, he's got. He got got. Wait, that guy's done. Got 33 experience points. Two tech points. 190 gold. One ether. Is he? They got the boss beasts. Now will you sell to me? All right, I'll sell something to you. I killed your boss, so now let me buy stuff. Whoa, I could buy weapons. Really good weapons too. And armor. All right, demon edge. That's really good. How much gold do I have? Oh, it says right there. 143,000, this would be 65,000, that's a lot. I don't really want to spend all of this. By the way, tonic is 2020, which is both the year that it is, and also an absurd amount of money. Wasn't it five gold when I was first here? Or when I was buying stuff way before? So maybe I don't want to buy anything here because these prices seem way conflated. I also, I've been, I've been doing pretty good about saving up my money. Uh, the only time I've ever really spent money is, uh... Ha, you think I'm gonna cut my prices for a human? Yeah. Uh, the only time I really spent money was when I bought those 50 tonics in, what, episode 2 or whatever. Uh, yeah, well, you just lost out on some business there, friendo. Fr friendolini. Whoa, forest ruins. Why was there a blue diamond? I got one midi there, good. Oh, this is why. Okay, cool. I don't know what this is. It looks awesome. A lot of this game, that could be summed up in a, I don't know what I'm looking at, but it looks awesome. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but it's cool. That, that's, that's pretty much par for the course with this game. I gotta get... I have to imagine I gotta get up there or something. Or onto this platform. But I don't seem to be able to. Alright, fine. I'll just leave, I guess. So I don't know what to do. Where am I, by the way, in the world? Whoa, I'm way over here. Oh, that explains it. Because over way on the east, west, over on the west, I hope that's the direction I'm pointing. Um, I don't think it is. I think I'm pointing to the west on the screen right now, but I'm pointing to the east in real life. The east uh, is where I started. So I got to get over there somehow. But how? What was the- what were those people talking about? The imps up here, residents. They were saying there was a odd man I needed to talk to. Where? Where was this odd man? Maybe I can go talk to him again. Hey, what? You use magic? Magic! Using humans supposedly- Oh, magic using humans supposedly perished long ago. Well, I could time travel. Minita village, blah blah blah, most mystics, blah blah blah. Hey, you're not telling me. Damn it, it's not telling me. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh well. I guess I'll just go this way since I haven't been here yet. Look at this. Melchior's hut. Hey, Melchior. Hey, maybe this is the odd man. Ah, uh, hello! Could I interest you in a weapon? Sure. Interest me in a weapon. Hey, these are much more uh, cheap. So I'll buy these. Red Katana would be adding... Three to my attacking right now. This would add three to my attacking for Marl. And two to you. Oh, and I could buy... Ooh, if I bought two Titan Vests, then both Marl and Luca could wear them. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll buy two Titan... Whoops, not eleven. Two Titan Vests. I'll buy one Hammer Arm. I'll buy one Robin Bow and one katana. That's most of my money. That is a lot of money, but and maybe I can sell stuff. Uh, what a sad state of affairs. Oh, if there were no, if there was no fighting, there'd be no need for weapons. He's sad, because that'd be like, all his livelihood would be gone. All right, let's trade out the red katana. I'm, I want to max, I want to min-max my team. Do they all have the best that they could do, have? I believe so. Whoops! I, I accidentally, I made a mistake. I screwed it up! It's fine, though. I don't... Okay, Defender. That would lower my power, but it would raise my stamina. I don't think I care about stamina so much. Or speed. I think I'm alright. He actually is really fast when it comes to the loading bar. Alright, so he's fine. You are gonna take the Robin Bow. Anything else? Yeah, Titan Vest for you, for sure. And then... What does the Ribbon do? I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep it though. Maybe? These only do minimal uh, uh, raising, you know, benefits. So maybe I don't care about them. 
By the way, this is, I think, the first episode. I just noticed this. This is the first episode I'm recording that's in sequence of everything else. Because the first thing I recorded last night at midnight was the ending of Sweet 776. And then I recorded a bunch of Chrono Trigger adventures that came before Sweet 776. And then this morning, I was recording more stuff that came before the end of Sweet 776. And this episode is coming out after the final episode of Sweet 776. So, I haven't recorded anything in the future for this. I'm going to record the Colonel Sanders game, which com comes out tomorrow, by the way, if you're watching this when it comes out. If you're watching this in the future, none of this means anything to you, but I just find it interesting. All right, Luca, let's give you, never mind, let's give you, never mind, let's give you the Titan Vest. Hell yes. So I believe everything's good now. I want to keep with the sights go, because I feel like that means attacks from further away, which is what I want for sure. And since we're here, I'm going to switch out with Robo, since I can apparently just do this. Marl, take a break. And look, he's just here. There's not even any fanfare about it. He's just like, hey, what's up? It's me, Robo. Uh, yeah, let's give you the hammer arm. I, w I used to be a, a wimp. Now I have hammer arm. So, there you go. And I think everything else is fine. That's good. All right, well, Robo, why don't you uh, take a break? <laughs> I'm tagging you out. You've been in the game for far too long. There we go. Cool, I've min-maxed my team. Should you desire to return to Truce Village, use the shortcut through the mountain- the cave in the mountains to the north. Truce Village, is that where, uh... Is that where I was? Also, can I go downstairs? I guess I can. Hope you don't mind. Let's read some books. Can't. Let's read this book. Can't. Let's check out this typewriter. Can't. All right. Well then. This has been A Waste of Time by Alex Vincent. How's my name, by the way? Alex Vincent. Don't wear it out. Uh, let's save, by the way, since I did all that stuff. Oh, and I should have bought some more other stuff, too. The Village of Magic, awesome. Uh, let's go back, because I, I, I think there's more stuff I want to buy. If we... And I wanted to sell uh, also, so I'll, I'll do that, too. But some tonics also... Oh, no, I can't buy any ethers. Uh-oh. That sucks. Well, how many ethers do I have? 33. Let's buy 22 more. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, 55? Whoops. I guess just 20... 18 more is what I wanted. Or something. Those tonics, yeah, that'll be fine. Um, let's just try to sell some stuff now. The wood sword I can sell for 50. Yeah. The bronze edge. Yeah, I don't need any of this. I'm gonna assume, actually... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that all the weapons that I have now are the best, all the weapons and armor that I have are the best versions of weapons and armor that I could possibly have, and no other combination exists to give me better odds. So everything that I have, I'm going to sell if it's not equipped, all right? Okay, good. So let's just go ahead and do this, sell everything. Even though some of these are okay weapons, like the hammer arm, wait a second. Oh no, equipped! It says E! It shows me equipped weapons! Uh-oh! I wasn't paying attention. Does that mean I just sold some stuff that was equipped? No! Oh, God, no. All right, well, the load sword is not equipped. I made a horrible mistake. All right, I'm gonna look and make sure every equip says none. Air gun, load bow, bolt sword, iron suit. Yeah, the hide cap is equipped. Maiden suit is not, okay. That is. All right, so I think I made a terrible, terrible mistake. And I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I, I, I saved. I can undo. I can undo because I saved. All right, good. I'll do that because I made a mi bad mistake. I'm going to undo. I'm going to reset. Hey, we're back. Awesome. Okay, well, let's forget that happened. Let's just, uh, let's just ignore all that. So we need to buy the... St Get me in front of the goddamn magic man. Okay. Whew, that was close. <laughs> I almost made a terrible mistake. I need to buy all that uh, tonic again, which I will do. But first, let's sell everything that's not equipped this time. Because now we learned our lesson. High tunic is good. High tunic again. Karate gi. The robin bow, I think I sold that back then, and I didn't want to. So, let's skip it. Steel saber I can sell. Bronze bow I can sell. Not the hammer arm. Okay, I think we're on the right track now. This is where I was. Air gun. Load bow, bolt sword, we're all we're all good so far. Maiden suit, hide cap. All right, everything else is equipped. So 
Um, I, I think we're good now. I think, I think I've done it. Oops, I wanted to buy, though. Okay, um, that was a mistake. Sorry about that, everybody, but it's okay. We fixed it. We, we sorted it all out. Um, but now let's buy all those tonics we wanted. So, this would be 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 50. Great. 18. 51! Oh, I was off by one. I'm sorry, everybody. How could I have been such a fool? A fool! It's okay. Now I can save again because I've done everything correctly. I I have some of my gold back that I spent. What does that say? Hecron Cave? Doesn't matter. Death to the Mystic's enemies! No, don't. I don't want death to me. Also, I sh should have healed myself while I had the chance. Now I don't have the chance. That chance is lost to me forever. Luca. Oh, Luca and Marl need to switch places because I'm so used to Luca being the second person that I can uh, use my um, magic with, you know? And so when, when, when Marl is free, I assume it's Luca that's free. And it's a problem. So I'm gonna switch him. Switch him around. Because Luca, I think I like Luca more than I like Marl. Luca's cool. Marl's cool too, but Luca's cool. So. And Chrono has, like, no personality to him. Well, he's, he's very much the main character syndrome, you know what I mean? Where he doesn't really do or say anything. He just kind of is there, tags along. So, I don't know. Got an ether. Also, this is supposed to be a shortcut to get to Truce Village. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Ew! Gross! A gin, a gin bottle. Well, like, genies. That's cool. 97? Ow, it sucked my health away. Stop! It only did eight! Oh, God, no. Ow. Oh, I've been inked. The Octo Blush inked me. Is that because it's, like, pale pink? It's like a blush color? That's funny. All right, hurry up, please. First of all, Chrono needs healing because that's that's gonna be a problem. Here, why don't I actually do a mid tonic on Chrono? Why is why is there a X and an I flashing above Luca? Why is that happening? Oh, can she not see? Maybe. All right, that's cool. Oh, her her thing's not increasing, is it? I don't think it is. Oh, it is very slowly. Ah, oh, jeez. You gotta hurry. I can use Fire Whirl. Come on, Luca! Hurry! There we go. Alright, Fire Whirl on... I can't! They're too far away! Oh, no! Can I do a Cyclone? No. They're too far away. Damn it. I love doing multi-attacks, or, like, attack multiples. Unfortunately, I just can't. I do feel like I want to focus on that bottle, though, because... Again, like I keep saying, sometimes it looks as though these enemies are being created by another one, and if I defeat the one that created those, it'll be good. Miss! Four! Maybe I need to do magic on these things. Let's do magic. Let's do lightning on that. Maybe fire would be good, because it seems to be like a clay pot, right? That did a lot of damage. Okay, now we know. Now we know the physical attacks are bad. And magical ones are good. I think we've always known that, but now we know it for sure. It was it was just a theory. A game theory. And now it isn't. Let's do ice. Let's do fire. And then let's do lightning when Chrono is finally ready. Owie! Oochies, ouchies. I didn't appreciate that. Boom. Yeah, I'm spitting hot fire at these active blushes. So... You can pretty much deal with that. I'm gonna itch my nose again. Sorry about this. I just have so many nose hairs. I need to trim my nose hairs. The problem is, I don't want to because every time I go to trim my nose hairs, it's a real problem for me. It, it feels instead of like, when I shave my face, it doesn't feel like the razor is pulling on my beard hairs and ripping them out. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like it's, I don't know, shaving <laughs> the hairs. But every time I, um, do that thing, like I was saying, every time I trim my nose, it feels like all it does is just spin around grabbing the nose hairs and pulling them out. And I don't appreciate that. But you know what I do appreciate is you guys for watching this episode. Thank you for watching. Tune in in two days for more Colonel Trigger Adventures, but tune in tomorrow for a grand and special episode of I Love You, Colonel Sanders, because I do. And that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited to play it. Um, 
So I'll see you then. I'll see you tomorrow for, for that. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have the bell rung so that when you're notified when new episodes come out, you can see them. And then you'll know. And I hope to see you again. Bye, everyone.